Hello everyone, my name is Stephen Humphrey and I'm a professor at the Smeal College of Business at Penn State. I'm here today to provide you some information about the negotiation influence concentration that we now offer. Many people have asked me, why should I take this concentration? To answer this question, I want to propose four questions to you. Are you failing to get what you want out of your job? Do you see people who are as capable as you, or even less capable than you, getting ahead faster than you? Do you have good ideas, but don't know how to get others to say yes to them? Do you have a technical proficiency but want to lead? If the answer to any of these questions is yes, the negotiation and influence concentration is a great choice for you. This concentration will help you figure out what you truly want in a situation and provide you the means of getting it. It will help you diagnose the politics of your organization and figure out where you can win. It will help you get people to say yes to your proposals, people who are above you or below you in rank, people who are inside or outside of your organization and will help you figure out how to get a group with divergent interests to not only successfully work together, but want to work with you in the future. This concentration provides the skills you need to not just perform your job, but to thrive in your organization. So now that I've built this concentration up, let me tell you about the specific classes. There are three courses in this concentration. BA 805, which is Negotiation Theory and Skills. Management 821, which is Complex Negotiations. And Management 565, which is power and influence. I want to talk about each of these in, in turn so you'll learn a little bit about each of the courses. The first class I want to talk about is BA 805, Negotiation Theory and Skills. Now, this class lays out what negotiation is and provides the core skills of negotiation within dyads. In the words of Brad Levy, the instructor for this class, this negotiations class is hands down the most important class and the best class in the entire university. Why? Because within your career, whether you're in a corporation or starting a corporation, even within your family or within your life, whenever there are two or more parties or two or more positions or interests, you must negotiate. Part of the problem here is that sometimes you think you're negotiating and you're really not. And sometimes you don't think you're negotiating, but you are. This class is about knowing whether or not you're negotiating and understanding the difference between positions and interests and their outcomes. You may not know this, but you've been negotiating since the first time you asked a parent if you could have one more cookie, or if you could stay up a few minutes later to watch your favorite cartoon. This class taps into those experiences, giving you the opportunity to refine the good behaviors, reject the bad behaviors, and try out new behaviors, all so that you will increase the chance that you'll get that cookie next time you want to. Because negotiation skills are not something you can just read about and learn how to succeed, in this class you'll be put into situations where you'll be forced to figure out how to get what you want. You will negotiate, and you may fail to get what you want, but that's okay, as we will learn more from failure than from success. Across multiple negotiations, given formal and informal feedback, you should move towards success. You will learn strategy and tactics for succeeding in negotiations. You will learn a process for negotiating, a process that will increase your chance of success. You will learn how to customize this process for you. Everyone has different skills, capabilities, and personality traits and fitting the process to you will make you more capable to do your job and do it well. The second class is Management 821, Complex Negotiations. Complex Negotiations follows negotiation theory and skills. In fact, BA 805 is a prereq for Complex Negotiations. In BA 805, we lay out the core principles of negotiation. We give you strategy and tactics for succeeding in negotiations, and we address some of the core biases in negotiations. Yet BA 805 is bound to the context of dyadic negotiations. That is the entire focus of the class is how to succeed in one-on-one -on -one negotiations. To be sure, dyadic negotiations are a common context for negotiations. Yet we know that negotiations frequently take place in a multi-party context. You could be negotiating in a work group. You could be negotiating amongst several suppliers. You could be representing your organization in a negotiation with another organization. You could be an agent representing a principal's interest. You could be a manager, mediating a dispute amongst your subordinates. You could be negotiating with your spouse and your children. All of these situations, and more, will be addressed in complex negotiations. In this class, you will be forced to confront the complexities inherent in the multi-party context, the strategic, informational, and procedural complexities that change the way you gather information, the way you solve problems, and the way that you have to work to satisfy your interests. Within this class, you'll be better able to address and in fact thrive in the complex world of modern organizations. Thomas Green, the former managing director of Citigroup Global Markets said, I've learned to make chaos my friend in negotiation. 
We plan to make Chaos your friend too in this class. The third and final class in this concentration is Management 565, Power and Influence. Both power and influence are required to get things done within organizations. Effective leadership, therefore, depends on both understanding and processing power and being influential. The purpose of this course is to teach you all about power and influence. You will learn how to identify contexts where power and influence are likely to be used. You will learn how to diagnose how power is structured within organizations. You will learn how to diagnose your own individual sources of power, as well as analyze your personal social network. And you'll learn how to apply political strategy at work in an ethical and pragmatic way. What does this mean for you? Ultimately, it means that you'll gain insight into the environment within which you work, figure out your own advantages and deficiencies in regard to power within and outside your organization, and learn how to leverage those capabilities to succeed at work. In many respects, this class is a practical guide to success at work. It provides you the technical skills to leverage your knowledge and abilities to accomplish what you want at work. So those are the three classes in the concentration. Is this concentration right for you? I can't tell you that. But I can tell you that the knowledge and skills you will learn within this concentration will aid you in any job you pursue. Best of luck to you.